Alright, how does this how does this work? Take your laundry card, but as soon as you swipe it, it's gonna start. So you can need to put your clothes in first, put your detergent in here, and then swipe. Boom. Guys, I'm doing my uh, monthly trip to the laundromat once a month after I come home from California to remind me that I don't actually have money yet. I actually bought a freaking washer and dryer. That's the frustrating part. And the washer like doesn't work. All right, hello everyone. We just took a little shower, a little pre-gym shower. I feel like I'm the only one who like showers and gets ready and stuff before the gym. Like I literally treat my gym session like a date or something, right? Like I'm taking a shower, I'm putting on extra freaking deodorant, um, like putting on a sick fit. Like I'm gonna look good for the gym for my babies, you know? The 15 pound dumbbell, the Smith machine, the cable machines, you know, the vibes. But anyways, like I said, I got a few things to go over before we get into the actual meat of the video. Um, three major things, so let me uh, freaking set you guys up. So the agenda for today is we have these three announcements. We have the freaking gym vlog, and then I'm gonna come home and talk to you guys a little bit about LA, talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts, my dreams, my hopes, my disappointments, my people, good people, bad people, amazing people. Yeah, you're just gonna have to wait and see, guys. Okay, so first order of business, like the video, if you will, please. Sorry, I'm sitting on the ground because like I said, I don't have my tripod mount, but like I said, like the video, 800 likes. That is the goal. You guys have been killing it lately with the engagement on here and I could not be more grateful because you guys are making my freaking dreams come true. So yeah, um, I would appreciate if you guys liked the video. Uh, but yeah, moving on from that, number one, if you're watching this YouTube video, this one is especially for you, simply just because I made this specifically for the peeps that actually like really vibe with me that actually like me, you know what I mean? So basically, the other day, I think the day before yesterday, I made a second Instagram account, right? Look, can you guys see this? You guys see this? At Handsome Bra. This is my second Instagram account, may eventually become my main, but basically, I'm just gonna post whatever the frick I want on here, just a bunch of random stuff that I think is cool, like physique updates, um, you know, personal things, unfiltered things, uncensored things, basically just whatever. So yeah, if you wanna see more dope content from me on Instagram, Go follow at Handsome Bra because that's where I'm gonna be posting like the cool stuff. I'm still gonna post on my other Instagram account, but like I said, this one is special. This is one where I post dumb stuff like this. You know what I mean? Like freaking selfies in the gym. The second thing I wanted to talk about is we had a shorts restock for raw gear. Those five inch inseam compression shorts. I'm gonna pop them up over here that you guys have been asking me for in my freaking DMs and comments for freaking months now. All right, I put on the shorts for you guys real quick. Look at them, look at them, Marvel. They are compression. These are the shorts, they look sick. They have a little thingy on the back, but uh, yeah, those are the shorts. If you want them, Code Marsh, Raw Gear, link in the description. But yeah, if you've been waiting on those, go order them now before they go out of stock. Use Code Marsh for a little fat discount and help me kind of, you know, freaking pay my bills and everything because I appreciate you guys for the support. You guys have been running out my codes and stuff for everything lately. Freaking huge subs, Raw Gear, and I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you guys so much. Next thing, NoFap update for the people. Right now I am into week four of NoFap and it is still freaking hard. I still feel like a freaking, I don't even know, like a, like a sex fiend except I've never had sex before, which I don't even know how that works. Um, but I do have a few concerns that me and my coach are currently looking into researching a bit um, because yeah, I'm having a few things happen that I'm not sure is good for me. So I'm not even sure if this whole NoFap thing is healthy for me. Do I want to do it? Yes. Do I want to do it forever? Yes. Do I want to be healthy? Yes. Do I want to not have, um, you know, freaking uh, weird problems with my genitals? Yes. So yeah, I'm not sure how long we are going to go with this, but I'm for sure going to go for at least a month so that I can gather all the differences, all my experiences, put them all together and put them in the next freaking YouTube video. So if you haven't already, subscribe because you're gonna to wanna to see that one because that one is gonna be pretty freaking important. Um, so subscribe, like the video if you haven't already, and yeah guys, drop a comment or something like that. That is pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? But we need to go find Hagen, we need to put on a sick gym fit, we need to get doped up on pre-workout. So thank you guys so much, Code Marsh for huge subs and raw gear. Um, I freaking love you guys, you guys are the freaking best. Thanks for sitting me, uh, Thanks for thanks for listening in on me, um, you know, freaking sit in my uh, bedroom floor because I don't have a tripod and, um, you know, just ramble for like two or three minutes. So yeah, love you dudes. Why are we recording already? I have to get hyped on pre-workout mm, before we start filming because otherwise I'm boring and I don't have a personality because YouTube is just freaking fake. I'm kidding, it's not. Not for me. I try to be like, kind of like the same. 
Okay, what's up dudes? We're about to like really 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 slam a workout. It's about to freaking pour But um, <coughs> that's okay because we just took Adderall. We just took drugs. I look like I'm going to PE in high school Yeah, but that's okay because once you get a pump It's like it doesn't matter what you're wearing. You can still look like sick and stuff hidden pre right now You already know we took the handsome pills. That's a good. I'm, I'm gonna call it handsome pills now All right, so we took the handsome pills aka the magnify pump caps and the wrecked pre comarsh baby for like Wrecked, wrecked supplements and stuff, and also uh, we just had a protein, giant protein powder restock on the on the on the website. So if you guys need protein powder, they have some freaking gas stuff. Anyways, moving on from that, um, put this down. Anyways, enough self promotion. Let's go get some like a sick pump. Yeah, like a sick pump, dudes. Wait, I want to show them my fit whenever we get out of the car. This is one of our friends. Cheese. Everybody smile. I look like shit right now. It's okay. Me and Hagen have enough handsome for the three of us. Oh. This is what I have to deal with. Whenever I bring my friends to the gym. I'm waiting for the day if someone crosses me. It's an alpha time, bitches. If you're not on the strawberry rice crispy treat wave, do that. Shout out Max and Alex, Max Taylor, Alex Bank for putting me on these because these are freaking dope. Also, keep the pump cover for all gear. You already know, Code Marsh cargos are from freaking blacktaylor.com. It's like in Japan or some crap. Good evening lads, the workout is done, the titties are pumped, and now we have to have a little chat um, about LA, and about the future, and about um, NFTs, and probably Bitcoin, 
Um, uh, so yeah, let's take a walk. Okay, dudes, this is a, a holy crap moment. Look at this freaking sunset. Hagen, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. But, wow. This is just, this is amazing, look at that. You know, God, God is like a dope artist, you know? So, I mean, look at this lighting. I look freaking handsome right now. So, um, yeah, we're gonna take a little walk. We're gonna talk about LA. Um, all right, so many of you know that following my last trip to LA, not this last one, but the one before that, um, I had a really, really rough time, right? I was depressed, I was lonely, I was just in a horrible, horrible, horrible state of mind. Um, and I really just didn't want to go back. Like I literally um, almost called Brad when I got home and I was like, yo, like, you know, th I appreciate you letting me stay and everything, but um, I'm actually like not coming back to LA, right? That's what I was going to do. Um, and a couple people convinced me to go back, right? Um, and so I was like, you know what? Shoot, I'm gonna give it another shot, except for this time, I'm gonna bring my boy Hagen. Um, because last time, one of the biggest issues was I just felt alone all the time. I didn't have anybody there that was like, actually my friend outside of business, outside of social media, all that crap. So I was like, you know what? Hagen wants to come film for me. So I'm gonna bring freaking Hagen, um, you know, so I can actually have like somebody that I know is like my friend there, right? Um, so that's what I did, right? Um, I brought Hagen and he videoed for me the whole time and we stayed for, Far. I think we stayed for eight days, right? Um, eight days. And I do wanna say that my experience um, throughout these eight days was far from my experience the last time I was in LA, right? The last time I was in LA, like I said, I was super lonely, had nobody, had no friends, had nobody that I could really, really trust, um, nobody that I really wanted to hang out with, um, and nobody that was actually my friend, you know, actually cared about me outside of maybe the numbers that I could produce them, um, and that really sucked. So like I said, this time was a lot better, being that A, I had my best friend with me, two, it seemed like I had a lot better understanding of what was going to happen when I got to LA, right? Right, so the last time I went to LA, I was like, discombobulated, had no, I had no idea like what the deal was, who was cool, who wasn't. It was really just trial and error and that sucked. So this time um, I kind of knew who I could trust, who I couldn't trust, who I, you know, might would want to try and hang out with and who I didn't. Um, and yeah, I just had a better understanding of LA, a better understanding of what to expect, all that kind of thing. And I feel like I was a lot more prepared for everything just in general. So um, I guess going past that while I was in LA, I did meet a bunch of cool people. Um, I didn't really get close with a bunch of people because I knew better than to. Um, I know better than to trust people in LA too fast. Um, but I will say there were a select few people, maybe three, four, five people um, that I met or already knew in LA that I am actually missing right now. Like I actually wish I could be with them. I wish I could hang out with them um simply just because me and Hagen got along with them so well uh there's shout such out Adam and Caleb. yes shout out Adam shout out Caleb y'all are my boys y'all are dope I've yeah y'all me and free me and Hagen freaking miss you so if you're in this if you're watching this video um freaking we miss you bro uh bros and uh yeah we'll see you guys soon hopefully but yeah like I said it's getting dark I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see me but you guys can see my face a little better. But anyways, like I said, I met a handful of people, three, four, five people that I was with a lot of the time while I was there. And I actually genuinely enjoyed them as people. Like we would go and freaking hang out and it wouldn't be about content, right? We would go and we would go to the mall or we'd go eat or whatever. And it would genuinely be just us having fun as friends, hanging out, no content, no cameras. We were literally just chilling, right? And for me, like that's what I love. That is what I value most in life. Community, friends, like I, I really really just want friends you know like this content stuff you guys who have been following me for a while know that I didn't get you know this numbers I didn't get this far from collabing with people or getting clout from people simply just because I don't that's not how I roll right I just like I like to hang out with people because I love people. I like to hang out with people because I love relationships, community, that kind of thing. And that is what I found with these select few people. I do wanna take that into account. I don't wanna completely write off LA because not everybody in LA is bad. Not every you know creator there is a douchebag. Not everybody is a cloud chaser, that kind of thing. Um, there are some good people and that is kind of what you need to look for when you go to LA and what I will be looking for in the future when I go to LA because those, those were the times 
times that I was like, dang, like I, like I actually missed those times, right? Last time I got back from LA, there wasn't a single moment that I was like, man, I wish I was there. And now it's like those times that I spent with those friends, um, like I actually like missed that, right? But before I'm done, I do wanna say um, I am not perfect and I did trust some people more than I should have um, and I paid for it. I freaking paid for it. Um, I There was a couple of people that I trusted a little bit too quickly and that sucks. Um, but I am going to learn from it. I'm going to learn um, you know, how to better gauge what people really want, how to better understand um, what people want out of a relationship and how to kind of maneuver around that simply just because, like I said, I want friends. I'm not trying to meet you to freaking get something from you. I don't need anything from anybody. I don't need anything from Brad. I don't need anything from other influencers. I want freaking friends, man. I want friends, I want real community, I want real relationships. And that's what I'll continue to seek whenever I go out of town, whenever I go to LA whenever I go to these places um, so that is the little update for LA if you guys are wondering if I'm going back yes I will be going back simply because I freaking miss my actual friends there I freaking miss um, you know Maggie Adam Caleb I miss you good dudes to death um, and I can't wait to see you again also um, I know you guys like the content in LA and I want to continue to do that for you guys I want you guys to see more and more of that um, I want you guys to see me traveling a lot more I know I'll be going to Utah here pretty soon um, to do some content with my coach maybe with Alex I'm not sure yet. Um, and yeah, I'll be going back to LA, obviously, back to California. But yeah, that's kind of a little LA talk that I promised I would give you guys. Hopefully I didn't take up too much of your time. I freaking love you dudes. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go freaking find Hagen, and then we're gonna go make some dinner. We're gonna make some dinner, baby. Dinner! Hagen, you want some dinner? What? You want some dinner? Hagen wants some dinner.